Hello, Scorpio singles. Welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. So today we're going to be doing a reading for you guys. And we're going to be looking at who's coming towards you. What do they want and how will it end? These messages are general. They're not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does resonate, Scorpio. Apply it. Leave the rest. Also, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So let's jump right into it and see who is coming towards you. So spirit, who is coming towards? Okay. This flipped over quickly. Unconditional love. Um, someone I heard romance, someone who wants romance, someone who wants something um very serious. I heard platonic and friendship. For some of you, this could be a friend. This could be a friendship going to the next level. I feel like you've known each other for a very long time. Um, but you've been holding back or this person has been holding back. But yeah, I heard like you know all that you need to know about each other. So yeah, for some of you, this is definitely someone that you already know. This could be a friend. I also heard a colleague. This could be someone that you work with. But yeah, they're here for it. They're ready to give. To pour into this relationship. This situation. Spirit, give me a message for unconditional love. For others of you, you have somebody coming towards you that just wants something um, serious. They want to give to you. They want to love you. I have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. I feel like for someone, you've had a very difficult time in love. It's just been very challenging. Or for this person, it's been, it's been very challenging. Like meeting the right person. Finding someone who desires the same things that you want. I heard like culture. So for some of you in the society that we live in today, it's just been very hard <laughs> to meet the right person. Um, I heard mind games. I feel like everybody just wants to play mind games. That's how you feel or that's how this person feels. And they're looking for something that's a little bit more genuine. Tell me about this Ace of Swords in the reverse. But yeah, they've just been having a difficult time meeting the right person, finding the right person. Yep, the three of wands. Yeah, this person is ready. They're ready for a commitment. They've been waiting a long time. I hear I heard failed relationships. They've been in some failed relationships. But they're still hopeful. They're still optimistic about meeting the right person. And that right person is you, Scorpio. So let's look at what they want. So yeah, who's coming towards you is someone who is ready to give love. Who may have been single for a long time. Who may have had some bad experiences when it came to relationships. Who met people who do not desire the same things they want people who just pretty much like to play games but they're still open they're still hopeful that they'll meet the right one come on determined what this person wants is to chase you <laughs> This person is going to chase you. This person is going to do what it takes to get next to you. I heard just to be close to you. Yes. This person is willing to do what it takes to be close to you. For some of you, looking at this Ace of Swords, like, you may have turned this person down before. You may have turned this person down. But they're here for it. Spirit, tell me about Determined. Three of Cups. Yeah, this person is determined to see success with you. They feel like you are going to make them happy. They can see it. This person can visualize it. They know that you'll be happy together. This person know that they can be that man, that woman that you need them to be. And they're determined to have you. 
So let's look at how this relationship is going to play out. Or how the situation is going to play out. Yeah, this person is going to be stepping forward and expressing themselves. They may send you flowers. Yeah, also her love letter. But yeah, this message, this person is going to be coming forward in some form to express their true feelings. I also heard play another love song. So they may dedicate a song to you or play a song for you. Spirit, tell me more about a message. Yeah, I heard play another love song. This person is very romantic. They're like a hopeless romantic. They want to wine and dine you. I see candles. I have the nine of wands. Some of you are going to reject this person. You're going to reject their offer. Yeah. This person is really into you, Scorpio. Like, they see themselves with you, but you're going to reject them. Or you're going to be very closed off. I heard initially. Yeah. You're going to be very closed off to this person's gestures. To their advances. So, let's pull some advice. Spirit, what advice do you have for Scorpio? I'm also getting for someone like this person is much older than you. I heard like sugar daddy or sugar mama. Be like, no Uncle Ruckus. No, not today. I have whole. I heard complete by yourself. Like some of you are just in the energy where <laughs> you're just happy being by yourself being with you not really wanting to entertain a relationship but i'm also getting spirit is saying don't come off as being too independent where you give off an energy where you don't need anyone you don't need a relationship like be open um don't come off as being very i'm trying to think of the word scorpio um don't come off as being as if you don't need anyone you know giving that impression you know, they, you know, I don't need a man. I don't need a woman to make me happy. You know, I'm good all by myself. I can do bad all by myself, which is true. You can, but, you know, don't let that mindset have a negative effect on your romantic life. Like, still be open to love. Like, you can still maintain your independence, Scorpio, while you're in a relationship. It doesn't mean that you have to give up who you are, that you have to give up, um... On your goals, your dreams, on the things that you desire in life. You can still have your dreams. You can still have your hopes, your wishes um, when it comes to the things that you desire. But don't let you being so independent stop you from getting to your Ten of Cups. Because I heard desire. Some of you do desire love. You do desire a relationship. But you may feel like you have to sacrifice who you are. You have to sacrifice yourself for this relationship. Um, and I also heard needy. Like for some of you, you may feel like this person comes off as being a little needy. <laughs> but 
I just heard overall Scorpio spirits just want you to have a good attitude. Have a good attitude about the situation. Um, don't come off, yeah, like high-headed or high-minded. Um, that's what spirit is giving me. Don't come off as, you know, you think you're all that pretty much. <laughs> that's what spirit is saying. Like, be humble. Yes, there it is. Be humble. Spirit is saying, you know, still be humble. Yes. Be humble and be gentle with this person's feelings. So, Scorpio, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone, stay blessed.